When I travel, I tend to overthink every single situation. Actually, I do that on a day-to-day, -day, but especially way more when I travel, I am definitely a professional overthinker. In order to mitigate that anxiety and all the what-if scenarios, I tend to be really well prepared in packing my personal item that I carry on to the plane. If you're curious to know all the personal items that I bring with me and stow away in the front of my seat, definitely keep on watching. Hello and welcome, my name is Amy. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Ever since I posted my first travel essentials video, I got so many many requests to do this particular video to show you exactly what I bring with me in my on-flight carry-on bag that is counted as my personal item that I get to put under my front seat. Not gonna lie, I have always been curious about what other people bring on to the plane as well because I just want to be like the most well-prepared person, especially when I'm stuck inside a plane for an extended period of time. I want to be sure that I have everything that I could possibly need during that flight, but I also prefer to carry with me the those items that are more or less irreplaceable. I know everything is replaceable, but the things that are really hard to replace, like my computer, things that are very, very expensive or things that I'm going to be inconvenienced by if my check-in bag somehow got lost or delayed. So I wanna have those items with me at all times. Just to preface this video, in addition to my personal item bag, I do typically bring with me a rolling suitcase that's on the smaller side that would go in the overhead bin. And I put all of my secondary essential items in there. So things that I prefer to have with me, but I won't be devastated if they end up having to check in the bag because sometimes that does happen on smaller planes or if they run out of room in the overhead bins, then they will kind of volunteer you to check in your bag because it just, the plane doesn't have room to fit it. So in my personal item carry-on bag, these are my absolute essentials that I need to have with me on the flight, no matter what. Without further ado, I am going to show you guys everything that I carry in this July travel duffel bag. This is quite heavy, so I wanna show it to you and then put it down on my lap. It is completely packed right now so that I can show you that everything fits in here perfectly well. There is a little bit of additional room at the top in case I wanna bring a cardigan or a sweatshirt because on flights it does get really cold, especially with the air that you can't control very well around you. Before I start diving into what is inside my bag, I want to show you guys a little tour of what the inside of the bag looks like from a bird's eye view from the footage I took on my phone. So you can see kind of what it looks like when I'm looking down in it. And it shows you the pockets and everything, organization compartments, because it is rather hard for me to show it to you like this, since there are a lot of stuff in here. I'll have that playing so you can reference to it while I talk about the vehicle of all of my personal items, which is this, the, 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 can I talk? This July duffel bag. But also just to get this out of the way, I actually don't carry this particular item inside my bag, but I attach it to the outside on the handle. And it is my Kabu neck pillow. This one goes with me in all flights because it is like the best neck pillow to ever exist in my opinion. And I've tried a uh, you know, a handful of them. I got this from Amazon a couple years ago, but I'll go ahead and make sure to link everything in the description if all of these things are still available. If not, I'll go ahead and link similar items. I won't go into all the details of every single item because that would make this video pretty redundant from my travel video from last time. So make sure to search on my channel, travel essentials or something along those lines, and you'll see my videos where I talk about specific items and my top 10 must haves for travel, stuff like that, where I go a little bit deeper in detail of all the little bits and pieces of items that I take with me. This is just to give you guys an overview of what I bring with me, but also give you some ideas on maybe some things that are missing from what you bring on your trip and hopefully give you some inspiration. I don't know. I hope this is helpful. But yeah, neck pillow is a must for me. I sleep like a baby on flights. Like my husband always makes fun of me <laughs> because I can knock out like that. I feel like it's a superpower, but sometimes it's because of my motion sickness. Sleeping is the only thing that'll not make me feel nauseous. So sometimes I do just have to pass out. So that's the first thing I attach it to the handle of the bag. Now let's talk about this July bag. I have used on so many flights and 
I feel like it is my favorite travel bag as of right now. It fits perfectly under the seat and I have never gotten in trouble for bringing this big of a duffel bag as my personal item, but I think it would differ depending on your airline. So make sure to check their website for the accurate information. I'm not like a flight attendant. I don't know all the details of every single airline. So definitely do your research. But for me, I've never personally encountered an issue or had a bad experience with bringing this as my personal item in addition to my rolling smaller suitcase. Typically, I would put this on top of my rolling suitcase because it has a trolley sleeve pass here. It is not zippable at the bottom, which I am completely fine with because they are genius. They have the little phone pocket behind the trolley sleeve. So there is an additional pocket behind it. It's hard to show you on camera while I'm holding this up, but it has a magnetic closure, which is also amazing. So there is some sort of light level of security so your phone doesn't fly out in case this bag does topple over or something. It's more secure than not having the magnetic closure. The pocket is actually pretty decent enough where I could probably fit my passport in here as well. In addition to my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is the biggest iPhone that you can get. But I will say because my phone is on the bigger side, the magnetic closure doesn't work because the phone is too tall and it gets in the way of the opening, but I really don't mind it. I never feel like my phone is in jeopardy of getting lost or anything if I put it in this pocket. My phone can literally just slip in that pocket whenever I travel and I can be hands-free if I need to. This bag is incredibly durable and sturdy. It has leather top handle straps like this. It also has a removable, crossbody thicker strap right here. It is adjustable and removable, like I said, with a leather shoulder padding up at the top and it moves around so you can adjust it as needed. The hardware is a beautiful gum metal color. The zipper on this is so incredibly smooth and I feel like the compartments are the perfect balance between there's enough where you can organize your things, but there's not an overload of unnecessary pockets. I feel like this is the perfect size for me because it's not not too overwhelmingly big where it's going to be a hassle for me to carry this around, but also the capacity is amazing. You guys will see how much can fit in here shortly, but it's incredible. The nylon material on the outside is so easy to wipe clean. I got it in the classic color black because whenever I have to put something underneath someone else's chair, on a flight, I wanna make sure that I'm not too worried about it getting stained or wet because you never know what is underneath those seats, you know? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the other parts of the bag. At the front, I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a zipper that goes all the way across and you open it, it's so smooth. The zipper quality, <laughs> is amazing. I typically only put one or two items in here and that is my Kindle. And currently I'm reading Iron Flame. I didn't get too far into it yet because I've been so busy. I love to read on the plane when I'm not feeling motion sick. And then I would also put in my passport in here or any other documents that I need to keep safe within a zippered compartment because I love the security that this provides, but it's super slim. So I love to put slimmer items in here. So it's not super bulky. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm getting like an arm workout by trying to maneuver this around. Whew, okay, I'm like running out of breath. I need to go to the gym. Alrighty, so in the main compartment of the bag, I'm gonna start pulling stuff out so you can see what fits in here. The first thing that I see is my AirPod Max, AirPods Pro Max, Max Pros. I always get the name of this device wrong, but it's basically the Apple headphones that goes over your head. I cannot travel without this baby. It's so funny because in my last travel essentials videos, I totally forgot to mention this and I was kicking my butt over it because I really can't travel without this, you guys. There are screaming babies on planes and oh my gosh, like I said, I get motion sickness and I'm very sensitive to noise, lights and things around me that sometimes I just need to block out the external factors and senses. It doesn't have to be Apple ones, but get yourself some noise canceling headphones. It'll literally change your travel game 
same. Before this, I used to have just the earbud versions of the Apple AirPods, but this one is so much better. It really does block out most noise, and I personally feel like the sound quality is really, really superb. So this is definitely a must-have. Don't know why I didn't mention that in my last video. I am so stupid. The next thing in the main compartment is my jewelry case, and it might seem very irrelevant and unnecessary, but I like to carry my expensive jewelry with me on the plane because obviously I don't wanna lose them. I typically do wear my expensive jewelry on the plane, but sometimes I just don't wanna fuss with rings, especially when I'm using a lot of hand sanitizer and lotions that I like to carry a jewelry case to store them in. And this one is from Majuri. I think I got this a long, long time ago but it is pretty spacious in my opinion. It can fit necklaces, earrings, rings, all that good stuff, bracelets. It is leather and inside is a softer kind of suede material. So I just, yeah. This is what I will carry my jewelry in, especially if they're on the more expensive side. Also, love this color. Next, I have this pouch, and this is from Truffle, but I don't think that they sell this anymore. Pretty sure it's discontinued, but it's okay because there are better pouches out there, to be honest. I now understand why this one was on sale when it was. I also have a matching bigger one. It came in a set. I bring the smaller one with me in this bag because I put all of my cough drops, liquid IV, like electrolytes. I bring my vitamins and supplements, face mask, band-aids, salon pos in case my back starts flaring up because I have some backache issues. Basically all of my vitamins and supplements I will bring with me all condensed into this one pouch so it's easy and quick access for me to find in the bag. This is the perfect size and it is just kind of like a canvas material so it's not super protective or anything but it does the job. I think it's pretty convenient so I like this. It does stand which is nice. On a similar note I do have a pill case with me but it is not in the main compartment of the bag. It's actually inside a side pocket instead. And it's this one. I talk about this all the time. I feel like in every single travel video I make, this is in it. I think I got this from Amazon for literally about maybe $5 or so. And it is a pill case. It's so convenient because it just opens like a book and you can put any pills of your liking in here. I don't have them labeled, but you certainly can if you have a label maker. I typically don't because I can tell from the shape and color of the pill what it is, but I'm a little bit of a psycho like that. And I really like this feature because on one side, you have these little compartments that are smaller so that you can put your smaller pills. And then on the other side, you have two bigger sized pill compartments. So you can put your bigger pills like fish oil, or I don't know, I have like hangover pills in here because my hangovers are not the same. I also have some loose kind of supplements in here as well. This is so versatile. I carry all of my medications that I could possibly need. I have Pepto-Bismol, Advil, Tylenol, allergy medicine, Dramamine, all that good stuff in here because you never know what you're going to face on the flight. So now going back to the main compartment, I have this kind of matching truffle case set. I'm a huge fan of truffle, if you can't tell, but it's because I really love the shape and the quality of their clear cases. These two are matching ones, and sorry, this one is empty, but you'll understand the concept, and I'm so sorry, this is so dirty. Don't look at the clear part. It's not clear. It's very foggy. I have one truffle case that's a little bit bigger and another one that's a little bit slimmer than the other, so here's the size comparison of them. But basically, in here, I put all of my current makeup items that I want to bring with me. And the reason why I bring my makeup with me on the plane is because sometimes, you know, if there is a longer layover or when we arrive and the hotel isn't ready yet, sometimes Charlie and I will try to just go to dinner, like right after we land or something like that. And I look hideous. Trust me, I have no problems going in public without any makeup on. It's not that, but sometimes we do want to take cute photos at an aesthetic restaurant and I might just not feel cute. So sometimes I like to bring with me my toiletries, which I'll get into in just a second, and my makeup with me on the plane so that when I land, I can go to the bathroom, freshen up and not feel as gross and icky as well. I'll usually wash my face and then put on some makeup if we are going to go somewhere right after we 
land. So that's why. In the smaller case, I put all of my travel size brushes and I have the ones from Refer. I will go ahead and try to link everything, like I said. But yeah, these are what I bring with me in terms of makeup. For toiletries, you guys guessed it. It is my beloved Calpac toiletry bag. I talk about this baby all the time too on my channel. It is the best thing that I've found so far for carrying my toiletries. It includes body care, hair care, and skin care. All of those things in travel sized containers fit really well in here. And I love this because it has a handle, it has leather trimming, but it's this clear case as well, just like the truffle ones. I love the clear cases because it's so easy to clean. It's more sanitary and I can see everything inside. But basically you open this up like a book. I actually do have items in here because I tend to not take these things out until I'm completely done with them. And then I just replace it with another travel size item. This is what the inside looks like. And there are zippers on both sides so you can get into your items very quickly. It is so high quality. I've had some stuff explode in here before and I've been easily able to wipe it out and clean it. It didn't damage the leather trimming or anything. The liner, all the stain came off. It was great. I really love this case so much. It is very high quality. I've had this for a couple years now and I also have this in a bigger size as well when I'm going on international trips and I need to pack a little bit more for extended periods. That is that for toiletries. And let's go ahead and get into the pockets now because the main compartment is completely empty. In the smaller pocket that is next to the other pocket that had my pill case, I have a external charger. And this one is specifically for my phone. And it's by the brand Anchor. And I got this on Amazon, but there are so many brands out there. I'll go ahead and link this one if you're curious about which one I have. I really like this one because it charges my phone relatively quickly. And I always bring this with me in case my phone tries to die and I need to revive it. This is so slim too. Look how tiny it is. It is literally the size of my palm. The feature that I love the most about this is that this little, I don't know, the end that plugs into the phone, it can fold downward so it's not getting caught on things. But basically you just plug it in and it starts charging. So love that. I think you can charge it up to four times because it has these like little markers that have four dots on them. But yeah, I always bring this with me just in case. Last but not least, there is a padded laptop compartment inside the bag with a little snap closure so your laptop doesn't fall out. And I keep, obviously, my laptop because this, I literally cannot lose. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna use it or not on the plane, I just need to have this. And typically I would have my external hard drive as well in here. I just don't know where it went. It's somewhere upstairs, but yeah, that one is really tiny. It's by Samsung and I usually have that with me as well inside here in case I do wanna edit off of my computer while I am lounging and waiting for the flight or something like that. So. I keep my laptop in here inside the padded laptop sleeve. I have the MacBook Pro 13 inch, I believe, and it fits within the dimensions of this compartment very, very easily with a lot of room. I believe you could fit a 16 inch laptop based on what I can see visually, but I'll go ahead and link the July bag so you can see the dimensions and make sure that it is compatible with your device. So that is everything inside this bag. There's literally nothing in it anymore. I'm actually gonna go ahead and repack this up so that I can take it back upstairs. This is kind of like how I would Tetris it. I just put in my laptop. I'm gonna put in my toiletry bag at the very bottom. I have my makeup truffle bags next to it. My other truffle supplement case in here. Put my jewelry case back in here as well. Pill case in one of the pockets. My Apple AirPods, my Anchor external charger, and I'm gonna zip it up. Kindle in my external zip pocket. And finally, my neck pillow. This is actually the last item, my phone in this pocket. Okay, so this is everything back in the bag. I love how it still has a little bit of space. Also, in addition to this, I will typically wear a mini crossbody bag or a fanny pack with me where I want to put like my lip balm, my lip color, a mirror. Sometimes I'll put my phone in there if I don't wanna put it in this bigger bag. Sometimes my passport, my wallet, keys, and then I will put the fanny pack inside this bag while I'm boarding on the plane. But I've also worn my fanny pack before 
in addition to everything else that I'm bringing and they've never said anything about it personally for me. I know that some airlines are more stricter than others, so definitely check the rules. But let me show you some mod shots in case that's helpful. The size is just so perfect. I love this bag for travel. It is just the best. And yeah, this is just me carrying it on my arm. This is the side view. There we go. And I can also use the longer strap to put it on my shoulder like this. You could do a crossbody too if you need it to be more secure. Let me give you a full 360. But that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have questions about anything at all. I'd also love to know if you have any travel plans coming up for this summer. I always ask this every year and it's so nice hearing from you where you're planning to go on vacation. So definitely let me know. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.